Number 67. Measurements affect the system being measured, such as the current loop in figure 22.56. Letter A. Estimate the field, the magnetic field that is, uh, the loop creates by calculating the field, the magnetic field that is, at the center of a circular loop 20 centimeters in diameter carrying 5 amps of current. So we need the formula that talks about magnetic field, current, and the uh, radius of the loop. So it's this formula down here on the bottom right. It says that the magnetic field at the center of a current carrying uh, loop is going to be equal to the permeability of free space multiplied by the current traveling in that loop divided by 2 multiplied by the radius of the loop. Now what they're asking us for is B, right, magnetic field, so we got to know all the other variables, and we do. Make sure you have the right units. So this is 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the minus 7th as the permeability of free space. The current they told us is 5 amps, that's great, divided by 2 now times the radius, but they told you this uh, has a diameter, careful, of 20 centimeters, so you know half of that has to be the radius, so it's 10 centimeters, but then you know we need that in meters, so just simply divide that by 100, and there you go. And bada bing, bada boom, plug and chug. So it's going to be 4 pi, 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th, multiplied by 5, divided by parenthesis 2 times 0.1. So this works out to be now 3.14 times 10 to the minus 5th, and that's Tesla. All right. And then it wants to know, it says, what is the smallest uh, field strain this loop can be used to measure if its field must be altered? Okay, blah, blah, blah. So basically, all we need to do here is going to take uh, this value that we found and divide it by uh, the percentage. Now, remember, whenever you do a calculation with percent, you can't use it in percent. You have to turn it into a decimal. So basically, what you have to do is you have to move this decimal two places to the left. So in other words, you would take the 3.14 times 10 to the minus fifth Tesla value you just found and now divide it by 0 0.000100. And when you do that, right, this is really just this is really just one, two, three, four. So that's really one times ten to the minus four. You would basically subtract the exponents, but since it's a negative exponent, you're technically then adding it to it. So it would just be three point one four times ten to the minus one uh, Tesla. That's it, guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.